Hi, it's Laura. <clears throat> I have a whole video for you and I'm going to fly through it because as you can see, I don't have it together today. Uh, my thrift trip was disappointing and I don't have a lot of stuff to do for my show tomorrow and I didn't have stuff in advance, right? So I don't, I'm not like ahead of the game when it comes to my inventory for tomorrow. I'm a little bit of a mess. So I'm going to fly through this and then get stuff loaded because I'm going to have to pull stuff from existing inventory. It sucks. I sent laundry out yesterday to be washed. It should be back tomorrow, but that's not going to be in time for my show. So, all right, let's see. First, I went to my thrift store and uh, like I said, it was disappointing. So then I hit my little local guy. He has two locations, like a couple blocks from each other. I hit both of his locations and only found one item in each spot. So this is the first thing is from him. Um, it's a really cute sweater though. And here's the problem is that I like it for me. Uh, <laughs> so that's gonna be problematic. It was 250, so that's cheap. Um, these are the, the tags, right? Like, I don't know that this was actually vintage. And if it is vintage, it's gonna be like 90s. So we'll see, we'll see how desperate I am. And uh, if I try it on and I, how much I like it. I do have a good little hooded sweater that I've been wearing a lot that I like, but I also feel like I haven't done enough sweaters anyway. Remember when I said I was gonna fly through this and now I'm talking a lot about one fucking sweater? Okay, that was 250. If I put that on whatnot, it's gonna be for 15 bucks. Next, also from my little local guy, is this dress. So this feels like a, a nylon or polyester type of thing. It's a, you know, moo moo kind of dress. I'm not super pumped about the design. This is not really my jam. I mean, it's fine, but it's just, you know, I'm way more like pastels and, and color color, not brown and black. Um, I would normally say this is like 70s, but this is the tag. That seems a little more recent. I mean, it is still definitely vintage, but I don't know, whatever. This was five bucks. And I'll probably put this on whatnot for um, for nothing because there's a fucking hole in it. There's a hole. Great. Awesome. Yay. Me. Okay. Now we're on to my actual thrift store haul. Banging it out today. It's wonderful. You can tell I'm in a good mood. Great mood. Okay. This is a really cute little skirt. Little like floral tapestry looking situation. This is limited from, I don't know when, from whenever the hell those tags are. I mean, like 90s, 2000s. Um, let's see. It's an embroidered tag made in Italy. So, excuse me? Excuse me, limited. Um, this was 250. I was trying to remember which colors were on sale because I don't have it together today. Let's see. We're going to save that because I love it. All right. This thing. So this is cute, right? Like a fun little jersey whatever that says. No, no big deal. I like the, um, you know, the format, the font of the number, the tag is, this was $2. Easy peasy. The tag is super faded and hard to read. I know that it does say made in USA. I was able to make that out. One of the reasons I snatched this, um, because it, besides the fact that it's cute, but also, um, the whole bloquette trend, if you're not familiar with it, it's like bloke meets coquette. So it's a lot of this kind of stuff, like these sports jersey type things, maybe baseball hats and shit like that, but then combine it with like lace and ruffles and frilly shit. So I would envision something like this, um, either tied at the waist or tucked into a very high waisted mini skirt that maybe has like a black, you know, black mini skirt that has like a ruffly kind of hem. Um, and then maybe like knee socks with some lace and Mary Jane shoes, like that kind of shit, right? You can look it up. I'm, I, I, it's cute. I'm going to describe it as bloquette um, and try to market it that way. I also pulled a piece of inventory that's like a similar, I'll show you because it's right here. Or it's not. Never mind. I'm not going to tell you. And, and so, anyway, it's good it just as like vintage sportswear type of thing, but also that bloquette trend. Next, I found this little cutie patootie. So there's actually two of these. These were $3 each. And it's just a halter. It doesn't want to go around my neck, but you know, it's a halter top and then it ties around the back, right? So this is the fabric, it's like a bark cloth. I don't know if it's cotton or polyester, but 
and it's really cool that there's two of them. So I don't know if I'm going to offer them up. That's the first one. If I'm going to offer them up both in the same show, or if I am going to try to do one in the show tomorrow, and then maybe put one in the show next week. We'll see. I know I'm desperate to put stuff in the show tomorrow, but also I feel like if there's two, um, you know, and more than one person wants it, I mean, that's nice, but if more than one person wants the one, they'll bid it up. You know? Mm. Coffee. Okay. Next I found, this is cute. Um, you know, you can tell my enthusiasm. So this is the top, right? It, I got this for two reasons, basically. Well, I mean, a three reasons, but one is that it's vintage and that's the reason I get all these things. Um, it's plus size, right? So it's marked size 22. And, um, and it's like this kind of gauzy material, right? So basically like if it had been a straight size, I hate using the word straight size, but you know, if it had been not plus size, um, maybe I still would have gotten it. I don't know. You know, I, I am desperate today for inventory. So this was five bucks. It was not on sale. That sucks. All right. Next I got this. This thing is cute. Um, it was $2 and hold on, let me button one of the buttons. It's a little like fifties era, but I don't know if it was originally a dress. I didn't realize I was this close to you. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know if it was originally a dress that got chopped down to a top, right? So here's here's the top. Like, so this lace on the bottom, I don't think this is original. I think somebody added that on later, but this fabric is beautiful. And then look at all the little buttons are these like bezel set rhinestone buttons, which is really cool. And I like the neckline on that, right? It's like sort of a sweetheart neckline, you see? And then it's got that, that stuff going on. So this was cute. Um, even if it's been altered after the fact, that's okay. There are no tags in that. The construction is, you know, indicative of the era. Oh, sorry about the jostling. Okay. Let's see. What is this thing? Oh, this thing is pretty cool. I grabbed this. I thought it was neat. So it's... As you can see, a Lorex, like, I don't know, tulip kind of top. The back is just plain, right? And there's the, <laughs> there's the tag. This was $6. Um, but it's got this like elastic hem, like a ribbed elastic hem. This is also plus size, which I didn't realize when I grabbed it. So that was fun. Um, it's marked size. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph Rizzo. Mark size 18W. She just jumped on the table, which jostled it because that's what we're doing over here today. And it spilled my coffee. Mm. So Rizzo, can you not? Um, at least it didn't spill on the inventory. Thank goodness. What are we doing next? I'm so, I'm so like frazzled. All right. This was a cute little top. I do like this. This is like a 70s era. Oh my goodness. I think I'm getting like more political text messages. All right. So just, you know, it's got sheer sleeves. Cute little print there. It does have a little belt for the waist. And then it ties at the neck. So it's a sweet little top. This was also not on sale. This was five bucks. Fine. Whatevs. Let's see. All right. This thing I did not, I got this to list just on eBay, but I may be desperate enough to, I'll, I'm going to look it up on eBay. We'll see how desperate I am. But I don't think that this looks like a whole lot. Like to, to me, like aesthetically, this is like, okay, whatever. Um, it's not my jam, but it is Tadashi and that sells for a lot, um, can sell for a lot. This is a size medium. It's like a stretch velvet, right? It's got this rhinestone-y situation going on, the illusion neckline and everything. So stretch velvet, it'll be a little bit clingy. That'll be nice. It was five bucks. Um, like I said, I got it primarily to throw on eBay, but if I look it up and it's not 
like insane on eBay. It may not be insane. It's, it's just a, you know, um, then I might just toss it up on whatnot. I don't know that it's what my whatnot crowd is looking for either, but at least it's a thing I can put up on whatnot. And I have a lot of resellers, so they may, you know, they may also decide to grab it for reselling. Okay. Next I have, I only have three things left because my life is terrible. Um, I have a suit. So it does look like it's plus size. Um, I didn't measure it. It's marked 36, but I don't know. I mean, that's not like, I don't know. I don't know what size that's supposed to be. So because like a European 36 is pretty small. So I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, it's possible it's the waist size on this skirt, but I don't know. So here's the skirt, right? And I like the, this is really cool. I just like that. And then the jacket is very cool. It's just like a longer kind of slouchy jacket. It's very eighties. Um, so when I first grabbed it, and here's the thing, I'm calling it slouchy because that was my first impression of it. Although now knowing that it may be a plus size, which just based on the skirt, I don't even know if these two things, like, yeah, I guess they go together. Like this may not be a slouchy piece. It is a little bit longer. It hits me like the bottom of my mid thigh. Um, so I feel like it's supposed to be that kind of like 80s slouchy thing. I'm going for like the corp core aesthetic. There's just like a very avant-garde, you know, suit, but a little oversized, a little angular, that kind of thing. Um, so, and I just really liked this whole rainbow print thing going on. That was cool. The jacket doesn't seem to have a tag that I've found yet. Okay, two more items. Two. This one I really like, and I'm going to have to put it in a fucking whatnot show, I think, because um, I have no things, but I'm sad because I really like it. I want to just throw it on Etsy or maybe keep it. I might, you know what? Uh -huh. I'm just going to show you what it is. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I paid 15 fucking dollars for this, which as you know, if you watch my haul videos, that's so much money for one item for me, but okay, you'll see. So little gingham shirt. You're like big whoop. When, when was the last time you heard somebody say big whoop? Sorry. Uh, look at little embroidery. And then we got the back. <gasps> Rainbow. How pretty is that, right? But, but, but also, there's this tag, vintage Levi's, and the big E, right? That is the big E, is it? Nope, it's the little E because I'm apparently on, on crack. So, whatever. Still, it's adorable. This does look like maybe it'll fit me, which is sad because then I'm going to want to keep it. But here's the thing. I don't like myself in button front shirts. But also this has a rainbow on the back. So I don't know. We'll see. And finally, the grand finale. This is my favorite piece of the haul. Um, and I don't want to put it on whatnot. Oh, this doesn't want to stay there. I'm dropping things. So I don't want to put it on whatnot, but I may, I don't know what I'm going to do. Whatever. I mean, at this point, like one or two pieces is not going to save me. I got a, I got a lot of shit that I got to pull to add to my show. So this is a dress. It's very long. I can't show you how long it is because it's so long. And so here's this little bow. So this dress is like a 50s era, which I love. And you can't see it yet, but I'm going to show you up close. I love that. There are no tags in this, but if you're a construction junkie, right? So we got a little of that business going on. That's the boning and everything, and that's so nice. And there's some more construction, right? And then we've got our good friend, the metal zipper. I think it's Talon. Um, it was funny. I was watching some dudes on whatnot. They have they had like a storage unit full of women's clothing and they don't normally do women's vintage clothing. And so as they were going, they were kind of like, you know, the audience was being super helpful and telling them, oh, that's what this is. That's what this is. And I don't know where they were learning their things from, but at some, some point they must have figured out that metal zippers are a thing. And so they're holding stuff up and they're like, oh, it's got that metal zipper. And it was a nylon zipper, but like the, the little tab was metal. It's like, no, sir, that's, that's not a metal zipper. 
It was kind of cute in a dumb way. But anyway, the whole zipper is metal. That's what a metal zipper is. All the teeth are metal. In case you didn't know that, I feel like you probably do. If you don't, that's okay. I just feel like, you know, most of you watching this are other vintage sellers. Um, anyway, that's it. That's what I got today. So sad. Oh, I didn't tell you how much that dress was. I think it was, wait, how much was my little 50s dress? This was eight bucks. Not bad, right? I love it so much. So cute. Little strapless. So cute. <laughs> I want to model it to sell it on Etsy, which is part of why I don't want to put it on. Oh, part of why I don't want to put it on. Uh, anyway. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. I'm like a mess. I've got like day one bozo hair. It's all frilly and out of control. I just, <sighs> now I have to go list all this stuff on whatnot. Thank you so much for watching this though. Um, I'll do better next time. I will. I promise. So talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.